everybody, welcome to your 25 minute follow along bar workout with me, Gabby. If you're not here, subscribe, do that right now. Press the bell so you get notified every single time I upload a brand new workout. I'm uploading new workouts every other day and I wouldn't want you to miss out on the burn. This class is lower body focus. We're gonna be doing lots of glute, lots of thigh work and some ab work too. There's gonna to be timers at the top of the screen so you can see how far you are into each exercise, but this is a 25 minute workout. Let's get straight into it. Bringing yourself up and standing. You're gonna send your feet wider than the hips. We're gonna go side to side lunge. So take a bend through the knees, drop the hips to the floor. You're gonna go over to your left side, tap the foot, we go. Switch and change, nice and slow to start. We go, switch and change. Now option, if you don't want to take that top hand to the ceiling, just feel free to keep the hands down, keep reaching the toes. Switch and change, now option to go. Faster, switch, switch, switch. So I want you to keep your hips nice and low here. Tracking those hips across a straight line, getting nice and deep in towards your thighs, awakening the legs, awakening that upper body with that spinal twist. Go reach, reach, inhalation, exhalation. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Listen up. You're going to take some arm circles. So I to roll those hands all the way around. And again, up, crown, back. Up, crown, back. Now slowly sweep the hands the opposite direction. Inhale, exhale, one more, and give everything a shake off. Okay, let's go down to the floor. I want you to bring your chin to your chest. You're gonna roll down and take a plank position. So I want you to roll down into a plank. Option here to lower the knees down, bring the toes in. If you want the challenge, keep the knees lifted. Now I want you to bring your eye line here in between your hands. You want one straight line, crown of the head, down to your heels. Inhale, exhale. Further option, you want to go there. Left knee in, push. Right knee in, left knee, right knee. So you're taking a slow mountain climber here. Inhale, exhale, squeeze the knee to the chest. Knee to the chest, try and keep those hips nice and flat. You've got it, six, push. Five, press. Four, keep the body long. Three, don't sink into the shoulders. Two, last one, hold back there and give me just 10. Then we're gonna stretch out the body real quick. Go eight, seven, six, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Take the toes together, open through the knees, stretch the back, stretch into the hips, take a child's pose. Slowly roll yourself all the way up. You're gonna bring your left foot forward. Then from here, hands go round the front foot, tuck the back toe under. Just take a stretch here, flowing through the stretch, holding for a couple of seconds. Inhalation, exhalation, lengthen the knee, press the hip flex to the floor. Drop the back knee down. You're gonna sweep the leg round to the back. Other way, other side, sorry. Bring the foot, bring the foot forward, tuck the toe under, lift the knee up and away. Drop the knee down. So straight away, we're gonna come in towards your first booty part. Bring your fingertips towards your heels. Plant the feet to the floor, lift the hips up and away. So you're pressing your palms to the floor. Now double check, you're gonna hold this position for a little second. Double check, are your fingertips rotated towards your heels right now? Make sure they are. And now you're gonna take a drop of the hips down, lift up for two. Down for two, lift it up. So modification of this, you can always, itchy nose, sorry. You can always let the hips tap to the floor and squeeze up and press. Making it harder, don't let those hips touch the floor. Down and down. Now keep the heart nice and open. Don't sink into the shoulders. I line it forwards and up. Two more of them are gonna hold. Lift it up. One more, down to the floor. Lift up, now hold that. That little tiny presses up. Up, so the eye lines forwards. Don't strain through the neck. 
It's like you've got a golf ball between your chin and your chest. You're just trying to keep that golf ball there. Little press up the hip, lift, lift. So both the hips squeeze to the ceiling. And as you push the hips up, give your glutes a squeeze together with an inhale and an exhale. Lift, lift. We're gonna go back to full range in four, in three, I know, two, one. Now you're gonna go down with the hips, push up, press. Keep lengthening through those arms. And I know your wrists, they might be suffering a little bit. They're gonna get a break after this, so strengthen up your wrists as well. Further modification, you can always make a fist with your hand. It's up to you, whatever feels strongest. Lift up, squeeze. One more. Now lift it up, squeeze and hold. The hips, they're gonna go up and hold. Up and hold, keep the eye line forward. Up, squeeze, hold. Now dig the heels in, take the toes off. Really squeeze the glutes together. Hold the butt together. Up, squeeze, hold. You've got it. Make sure the eye line is forward. Don't strain through the neck. I want none of this for the heads are backwards. You want your head forwards. We go, up, squeeze, hold. You've got it. Up, squeeze, hold. Now little lifts, lifts. I know you should feel this in your hamstrings, the back of your legs, you should feel it, you should feel it in the butt. We're gonna move on to the forearms. The wrists are gonna get rest in a quick second. Don't worry, now push those hips up and up and up. You have a final 10, nine more thrusts, eight, seven, squeeze the glutes together. You've got five more pushes, four, three, let it shake, two, one. Woo! Roll those wrists out. You're gonna come straight away onto your forearms. So swivel it round, press the forearms down. And I want you to bring your left heel to your left glute. Now push the toe up to the ceiling. So it's like you're taking an all fours position, but you're taking it on your forearms today. So in the eye line between your arms. Toe is to the ceiling. Double check, are your hip bones both pointing to the floor? I don't want it open. I want both your hip bones pointing to the floor and no sinking through the hip. You're gonna close the knee for two, push up to the ceiling and lift. So we're gonna go down and down. The knee stays bent, the toe it stays engaged here. So point through the toe, lift. We go down and down. Find that balletic intention to your workout today by lengthening through your metatarsals. Point to the toe, taking plantar flexion, this is called. We go lift, lift. When you point, it's plantar flexion. When you flex, it's dorsal flexion. Lift, little science there for you. Go lift, everyone's like, Gabby, I do not care, this burns. Go close, and down we go. Lift, lift, down for two, inhale. Exhale, you've got it. Let's take three more of these. Now work your gluteus maximus here. Gluteus maximus is the top butt muscle. So it's a big sheet of muscle that wraps right around the booty. That is what's gonna to contribute to a round perky bum. Let's take one more here, because I forgot where I was up to, sorry. You're gonna squeeze, I'm talking too much about muscles. You're gonna squeeze the toes to the ceiling, little tiny, lift and hold. Lift and hold. I know. Now don't sink into your supporting hip. Imagine the support inside of your body is pushed up against the wall, a brick wall. Don't let the cervical spine, that's the top of the spine, cave in. Hands, eye lines in between your hands. Lift up, squeeze. Let's do it, up, squeeze, hold. Three, then full range. Two, then full range. Last one, full range. We go down for two. Go lift, lift. Went to the gym yesterday and did a bum workout. And then I also just literally five minutes ago before this started, filmed another Taylor Tone workout with 30 minutes. If you've not done it, you can always head back to my channel and do that workout after this one. But I've just done it the opposite way around and oh my gosh, I'm feeling it. We go down and down, but that is a good thing, right? Go lift one more. We go lift, nigga, now hold that little pulse and pulse. Gonna squeeze at the toe to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale. Don't let that toe drop down. Hips are square. Drive through the butt. You have seven, six, five. The left arm extends in four, in three, in two, in one. Left arm extends to the side. You're gonna open through the hip, lengthen the toe, point through the leg. Go up. 
and up. So now the knee joint is lengthened and long. Hip is now open. So now you're targeting the side of your butt here. So side of the boot here is working. We go up and lift. You've got to go down and down. We go squeeze up and lift one more. Now hold, open the hip, open the hip. Flex the foot, don't do flexion. Little bend, push away. Make a shake, make a burn. If you felt the shake and the burn during this workout, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Make sure you drop me a comment down below like, whoo, gather that bird. Then push, then push. Drive the heel to the ceiling, turn out through the hip. Let's get into the side of your butt here, into your gluteus minimus, your gluteus medius, in the side of your butt. We go bend press, bend press, walk that leg one inch higher and push as hard as you can with the heel, just give me four. Three more pushes, two, one. Well done, drop the foot down straight away. You're gonna spin it round onto the other forearm. So press the forearms down towards the floor. Eye line between your wrists. You're gonna then spring your right heel to your glute and push the toe up to the ceiling. Other side, we go in and in. We squeeze it up and lift. Let's do it in and in. We squeeze it up and lift. So now you have four minutes of the other side of your butt working out. You've got it. If you shake, if you burn, that means it's working. So commit to your workout. Trust me, if you're burning, I am definitely burning too. It's so hot today. Woo! In we go, squeeze and lift. We take it down and down. Two more go up and up. We take it down and down. One more go lift. Now hold it there. Lift up, squeeze little up squeeze hold. So this movement, it's so tiny. So bar is all about those really tiny, precise movements. Bar is a mixture of Pilates, yoga, general dance conditioning. So from your Pilates influence, everything is precise. You've got precision in your movement. This is a one inch lift and hold. So it lifts and holds. Now it's so forceful. Every single action has meaning. The meaning of this one is to round our butts. We're gonna make them firmer. We're gonna make them perkier. We're gonna be the envy of all our friends. Lift and hold. Four more here. You've got it. Three lift squeeze. Woo! Two lift squeeze. Now hold. Full range. In. In. Push. Lift. Go down for two. Lift it up for two. You've got it. Go down and down. We squeeze it up to the ceiling and push. Down. Down. Now, can you get four more of these out? I know you can. We are in this. We're a team in it together. Two more. In we go. Lift. Lift. One more. Go down and down. Now you're going to lift up, squeeze it, and hold it. Stay there. Little tiny. Push. Press. Little press. Press. Keep the abs pulled in. Keep your core nice and strong. This one's great for finding stabilizing strength, building stabilizing strength through the shoulders, through the core, through the hips, the pelvic stabilizers, and you're developing muscular strength through your booty, of course, because that right now should be trembling. You have six and five and four. Lengthen the right arm in two, one. Lengthen the arm, point the toe, do not drop the leg. Lift the toe nice and high. We go down for two. We take it up, lift up. We take it down and down. So like you're drawing a straight line here with your toe. Imagine you have a pencil on the end of your toe and you're drawing one straight line up to the ceiling, up to the sky. And all you are doing is running back and forwards along the line with the toe. You got it, down and down. How much can we burn? how much we transform our bodies. We are improving our fitness. We're improving our well-being by taking part in this class today. Go down and down. Your body deserves it. You've got this down and down. Two more. Lift. Go down, down. Now last one. You're going to lift and hold. Flex the foot. Little bend and press. Then push. Then press. Then press. My knee, micro bend through the knee and a massive Press away with your heel. Make it so forceful. When you get to the tremble and the shake, that is a good sign. It means your muscle is fatiguing out. You are breaking down fat. You are building muscles strong, long, and lean. Commit. 
to the boom, we go bent push, bent press. Can you turn out the hip more? Can you walk that leg one inch higher? You've got it, just go 10 and nine and eight. You've got seven, push it six and five. Pull the abs in four, make the core strong. Three, two, one. Whew. Well done. I'm sorry, more bum work. Lower yourself down on towards the chest. Well, I'm not sorry. When everyone's like, wow, I'm seeing the results. I'm like, yeah. We can do this. You're gonna lengthen the legs. Turn out through the hips. If you can't turn out through the hips, don't worry. Send this top of the foot down to the floor. Try to turn out through the hips. Head rest down towards the hands. Inhalation in. Exhale, now just the lower body. Lifts and lengthens. Lows to the floor for two. So we go up and up. We take it down and down. So when I'm editing this and I do this exercise, my knees look bent, they're not bent, I don't know what it is, I think it's the camera angle because you're on quite a high angle when you're looking at me. The knees, they're not bent, my knees, they're lengthened and long and I'm lifting the whole of the leg, both of the whole of the legs off the floor, if that makes sense. The whole of the leg with lengthened, drop and drop. And on the top, I'm squeezing my glute together and squeeze my butt together as tight as I can to really get the most benefit out of this exercise. We take it up and up. We take it down and down. Inhale, exhale. We've got this. Three more in full range. Lengthen the kneecaps, point the toes. Two more, long and lengthen. Embrace that balletic intention. One more, lift up and hold it. Start to paddle just the legs. Relax the upper body as much as you can. I know it's hard to relax when it burns so much. Relax the upper body, lengthen the knees. Long, lengthened, limbs. Go switch and switch. You've got five, four, back to a full range. I know in three, in two, in one. Low rows the toes down for two. Lift up for two. So if you can, turn out through the legs amazing you'll get deeper into the outside of the thighs if you can't quite get there don't worry you can always take the toes so the top of the foot comes down towards the floor it's up to you harder version turn it out low back down to the floor inhale exhale you might just not have that mobility in your hips that's absolutely fine but doing things like this will improve the mobility of your hips you get a bigger range of movement as you do more classes with me you've got three more Lift up, squeeze. Down to the floor, two more. Lift up, squeeze. I feel like this is ever going to be over. Is my bum ever going to stop burning? You're going to lift and hold it. Lengthen and lift. You're going to start to paddle. Paddle. Last 30 seconds now. Paddle the toes. Down to the floor. Turn out through the legs. Lengthen the knees. Keep the upper body relaxed to the floor. Pull the navel, the belly button away from your mat, away from your carpet, wherever you are. And swim through the sea. Kick those legs. Now option. Change, change, change. That burns. Woo! Let's go. Change, change, change. You have just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We can do this. Roll onto your back. You are going to stretch after this exercise. Roll onto the back. I want you to walk your heels right up to your sit bones. Hands around the hips, bridge, shoulder bridge. You're gonna peel your spine up and away from the floor. Now we're all gonna hold here for just a little second. So when you're up here in this position, you should have a 90 degree angle through the leg. If you've got your legs too far away, you won't really feel it. So I'm gonna just take this exercise today with your legs nice and close. Now roll, unwind through the spine, drop the hips, then, Press your pubic bone up to the ceiling, squeeze the glutes together, and then lower back down. So this one is great for building mobility of the spine. It's great for getting sequential control of the spine. So I need to unwind the spine like a bike chain. So that fluid action of bike chain does when it unwinds. I want you to visualize your spine being that right now. Here you go, tuck, press, lift, lower to the floor. You got it, tuck, press, lift, Lower to the floor. Two more, tuck and press. Lower back down. One more, we go. Tuck, press, lift. Now hold. Squeeze the hip bones to the ceiling. Now lift up, squeeze. Lift up, squeeze. So you might not really be able to see what I'm doing. I'm pressing my hips and holding. Squeeze the lift together. Up, squeeze, lift. Up, squeeze, lift. 
Up squeeze lift, I know you can. Up squeeze lift, you got it, lift up squeeze. Just give me three more to full range. Two more to full range. Last one, full range. Now go down to the floor, now option. Lift up, press the heels up as you lift to the top. Roll down, down to the floor. As you lift, lift the heels. Down to the floor for two. Up to the ceiling for two and lift. Down for two. Woo! Up and lift. Down for two. Up and lift. Three more. Roll it down, lower the heels. Press it up, lift the heels. Two more. Up and press. One more. Now hold it. Lift those heels. Little presses. Up. Up. Up, up, third option, if you want to go there, maybe, raise the hands to see, and this would be an advancement, modification, keep those hands on the floor, lift up, now squeeze the glutes together, pull the belly button, up, 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 this is great, for those who stabilise and strengthen the shoulders, woo, in the pelvic stabilisers, working on your rectus abdominals, Working on your glutes, your hamstrings, and squeeze. We go for it up. You've got it, literally 10 seconds of little pulses. Then we're gonna go into a stretch, and you have made it all the way through your clap class with me today. Go lift and lift. You've got eight, seven, six more pushes, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Drop the hands down, lengthen through the legs. Nice deep inhale. And a deep exhale. I want you to reach your hands over the top of the head. You're going to lengthen the fingertips. Interlace the hands. Now flex the palms away from yourself. Pull the toes away from yourself and pull the body as long as you possibly can. Drawing your left knee in towards the chest, wrapping the hands on top of the shin, and just pull the knee as close as you can into the chest. Lengthen the other leg away from yourself, and find a big breath in. Find a big breath, exhale out. Other side, bring the right knee in towards your chest. Lengthen the other leg away, inhale. Exhale, and hold. Draw the knees in, rock yourself back, rock yourself up and forwards. I want you to send the soles of the feet together for a hip opening stretch here. Send the soles of the feet together, open through the knees, and then shimmy those hips on up towards your heels. Then you're gonna grab a hold of the ankles and drive the outside of the thighs down to the floor. Find a breath in, find a breath out. Bring the feet round behind yourself. Come on towards your knees, on towards your hands. Find a cat and cow. Inhale, just give the middle of the back up to the ceiling. Bring the eye line towards your belly button. Find a stretch through the neck, stretch through the thoracic spine, the lumbar spine. And then opposite flexion, press the chest down, coming through extension. And then flexion, press the belly button down, lift the eye line up. Slowly roll it on towards your knees, hip flexor stretch, we're going to stretch out your hips, bringing your left foot forwards, finding two 90 degree angles, at this point then, tuck the hips under, and then lunge, 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 I don't know why it came out like that, I'm sorry, so you want to rotate the hip bones under, then push forward into the stretch, you should feel it here through the hip flexors, and then sweep this foot, Back round again, pop the hands down if you're gonna wobble. And bring two 90 degree angles again through the legs. Then take a rotation under of the hips. Roll it forwards. Find a lunge. Stretch in your hip flexors. Bring the hands to the inside of the foot. You're gonna slowly bring this foot round behind yourself. Thread the needle. So you're gonna bring your right fingertips underneath your armpit. A little bit of a weird one. You might never have done this one before, but thread it. This is good for a back stretch, for a spinal twist stretch, and for an oblique stretch. Back through the center. So you should feel it all across the back, into the waistline, into the shoulders. And then bring your left hand, thread it underneath the armpit, roll onto the shoulder blade. And then you're gonna push back so you can feel it 
through the back. All the way through the center, hands under the shoulders. You're gonna tuck the toes under today. Press into a downward dog and hold. So downward dog stretch, driving the heels towards the floor. Inhale, exhale. And then walk the hands all the way in towards your feet. And stay there. It's just an ant crawling away right now. It's been underneath me the whole time. Oh, I've been dead sweaty. Ugh. <laughs> The crown. I don't know why I just told you that. Crown of the head drops down towards the floor, lengthening behind the back of the legs. Maybe give yourself a little sway side to side if it feels okay for you. Just sway left to right, left to right. And you should get a deeper stretch through the opposite hamstrings as you stretch to the side. Take a bend through the knees, soften the knees, and then go ahead, extend through the legs. Now you don't have to have the hands on the floor. I completely appreciate some people might be here. Doesn't matter where you are, as long as you feel it through the back of your legs. Inhale, exhale, extend through the legs. Bend through the knees, drop the hip bones, drop the coccyx to the floor, and sequentially, slowly unwinding through the spine, vertebrae by vertebrae. Rolling through the shoulders, letting the head come up last. Give yourself a shoulder roll round. Shoulder roll round. And then bring the hands to the side. Two sleeves down, inhale. Exhale, lifting up. One more, inhale. Exhale. You're gonna bring your hands down for a prayer position. Feet come underneath your hips, lift the heels up and away from the floor. And lower the heels back down, pull the abs in. Growing nice and tall through the body, thinking about that posture. And well done in your class with me today. That was a lower body focus. Let me know how your glutes are feeling right now. Or maybe get back to me in two days time when you felt that DOMS delayed onset muscle soreness. Okay, hope you loved that one. Press the subscribe button. Give me a like on this video. Leave me a comment down below. However you wanna spread the joy and the happiness and I will see you again next time. Bye.